Hey everyone, this is Chinmay back again and yesterday I uploaded a video uh, about building a distributor server as a notification service to update uh, like any type of notification or score to all the connected uh, users in, in real time. So we were using Redis PubSub, Docker, Java or Java Kotlin Spring Boot and uh, I think, I mean, yeah, that's all. So we used all the good stuff and we were able to build that distributed server. And yeah, we were using a load balancer as, as well in Nginx. So we were able to do that. So today what I'm going to do, I'm just going to enhance the scalability and the performance of the same, same project. So today in the distributed, distributed server, I'm just going to replace Spring MVV, MVC with Spring Web, Webflux. And I also, and I also want to introduce Kotlin core routines so we can just like uh, use concurrency to enhance the scalability and the performance of our MVC Webflux server. And if you if you use MV Spring MVC, it use Tomcat server. But if you use Webflux, then it will be using uh, server Netty, but not Tomcat, which is like more efficient and performance wise is good. So yeah. Let's build that. So this is the code we were using yesterday. So one by one, we will be replacing all the files. So, uh, so first of all, I want to edit the build.gradle.kts. So we need to remove the support for Spring MVC. So just remove this dependency and then remove this dependency. Why we are removing WebSocket because Webflux is already having WebSocket. Okay, so let's include this one. So this is for Webflux support. Okay, except that we also want to change the Redis because here we have to use the react reactive Redis. So that's we are going to use and then we also want to add coroutine support. So we need dependencies for that. So just need to add. Okay, if we now if and one more thing uh, later we might want to add tests. So one dependency for that as well. Okay. Yeah, so start with course. So for the course configuration, we need to do something like filter and then we need we need course configuration dot apply I mean yeah course configuration matter dot apply and here we need to do allowed origins so we can add three thousand are local allow methods then we need to allow headers and for now you want to again do all the headers then yeah message because in case of just researching cookies source url paste just import it and here we need 
need to apply register course configuration path is and this user conquer course config and then return course via filter as source so this will help us to and here we need to make it a b okay so the course config pin course via filter yeah done so uh, let's go to the redis for the redis now we don't need that message listener or subscriber anymore while using web flux so all we need is that is configuration bean then we need a reactive redis template which we need connection factory and returns a redis returns not just redis template but reactive redis template yeah connection reactive redis template connection factory and all and then we need to have a serializer jackson to json any type and then we have serialization context serialization step context with ready serialization context i think this one yeah the new selection context for string any and here we do string ready serializer value dot serializer and then we do need to build it and all we need to do return this reactive ready template with connection factory and serialization context Mm. Oh wait, why? It should be reactive Redis, not just Redis. Remove all the unused. Okay, so now we have our Redis. So it should basically we can do it. Uh, yeah so we have a serializer we have a serialization context and then yeah so now go to the web socket so for the web socket config we delete this and we delete this as well and here let's delete this one let's add a beam from web socket handler mapping okay so, so we are going to map notification web socket handler notification web socket handler we need to create that file and we will do that handler mapping okay so we need a map map of our path where we where, where we want our client to uh, connect through the web socket it should be simpler simple url handling handler mapping Mapping URL map map mapping order minus one return mapping the chain is well map off for the issue be very good hmm. notification web socket handler did do okay first create this file notification web socket handler hmm. 
make sure we are using the same uh -huh. so let's create that file so to create that file we need to make it a component and then now private well get the ready service here reactive ready service which we need to create again and we have a private object mapper object mapper and then we We need to create a reactive reactive Redis service. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Nice. So now notification websocket handler we have a service here object mapper oh, start all right fun we need to handle we need to handle websocket session we need mono void well notification flow let this service dot subscribe to notification the the uh, there is a there will be a method in that reactive ready service uh, notification hmm. when message dot message as notification as notification message dot message to string session dot text message dot object map Jack mapper the right value is string notification perfect we need to return session dot send it notification flow perfect so now what's the error here when branch is never reachable yeah okay so we have right handle we have session web socket session mono web notification flow ready service is calling the method and then we have map then the method message straighter well notification when is notification okay perfect so now let's create the reactive ready service so to create uh, reactive ready service you go to the yeah this is service so private well let this template reactive redis template it should be any yeah and then 
we have a companion object because we need few values constant well naughty uh, notification notification channel which is naughty notification so fun subscribe to notification subscribe to notification flux out reactive reactive subscription reactive subscription dot message any and then return read this template dot listen to the notification channel and this is saying yeah listen to the pattern Then we have a suspended function. Publish notification. We need to have a message to notify. This should return a boolean whether like it is able to send notification or not. Notification. Notification. Carrying a message. Then return a try catch. That is template dot convert and send notification channel and notification itself. And then I wait for that. Mm. Catch catch any exception if it's catch the exception if is there any. Uh, false so publish notification take a message make that a notification that is convert to send await signal yeah perfect don't need this don't need this so that is active service is perfect now come back to the web socket okay so web socket config is done We need a handler adapter for the like fallback purposes. Yeah, web socket handler mapping, and yeah, I think everything is done here. That is config, and yeah, we have REST config, directory, redis template, connection factory, selection contacts, contacts. Yeah, then we have notification web handler, and it's perfect. Hmm. It's working. Hmm. Okay. Nice. Course. Course config. Yeah. That is also. Okay. Now can come to the notification controller. So few changes we need to make make here. First, make notifications. And then you do private. Not template, but where this service. That is service and you do reactive ready no reactive ready service okay so we have post mapping publish then we have suspended function publish notification wait publish message then request body message of type string then it returns a string as a user response well published that the service dot published notification message it will return true or false return if published then return 
message pub list and then provide the message or else return fail to publish message fine for the get mapping we just need to make this suspend and everything's fine so that's all what we need to do in the controller function post mapping publish suspended function publish message getting ready service and calling the public or published notification message passing the message and yeah let's delete it perfect then no need to change model we already done the reactive ready service and i accept that we don't need to make any changes anywhere yeah so now try to build our pro build our distributed server let's see if we have any error or not oh build crystal we don't have any error let's see if we run the app what happened if we try to run the app ah uh, wait Let's compose down docker compose stop compose up okay now we are having netty server not tomcat as you can see so now let's try to uh, test this here now let's try to test this here so local host API notifications test. Okay, our service is running on port 81, and if you keep refreshing, you will be. Re I mean, our load balance is working because it will be redirecting requests to uh, port 81 and 82 randomly, which is like our notification service instance one and two. Okay, now let's try to run our front end and see if it is working. So okay so if we run our front end front end front end yeah this is the front end so if we try to run it